Nancy Pelosi here providing us with just another example how we're, ru- we're ruled by, uh, you know, oligarchs, essentially. We're, ru- we're ruled by kleptocrats. And here we can see Robbie Yeager on Twitter showed us that Pelosi recently, fi- her recent financial disclosures show Speaker Pelosi and her husband, Paul, purchasing up to $10 million in Microsoft stock in early March. These purchases came just weeks before the Pentagon announced a $22 billion contract with the tech giant for AR headsets. On the reported purchase date, the price was $230. Now it sits at $255. I just checked. Now it's at $258. So, you know, just another blatant, glaring example of how we're ruled by, like I said earlier, kleptocrats. Um, You know, the only way you can really get into Congress nowadays is by having a bunch of money. Um, You know, people that are millionaires can spend their own money. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is worth over $100 million while also claiming to be the leader of the party of the working class, claiming to really know the struggle and to know, you know, how the the everyday struggles that people are going through and and to be able to enact policies that are actually going to help those people. Although she won't enact a minimum wage increase, you know, they put it in the House bill. It got taken out by the Senate. She said, okay, fine. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. She sent it back to the Senate without it, without it in there. You know, we give a lot of shit to the progressives, but you know, Nancy Pelosi is, is no better. I mean, obviously she's a lot worse. Um, and so that's who we're ruled by. That's who is the, like I said, the leader of the party that claims to represent working people. She hasn't ever struggled She's never struggled. She's never. When's the last time she's probably even been around someone who's in poverty, who really understands that even $15 an hour is not enough in most places. Those Amazon workers in Bessemer, Alabama, were saying Jeff Bezos goes around parading that he gives his workers $15 an hour. Well, we're still struggling. We're still scraping by. And that's in Bessemer, Alabama. So imagine somewhere like where Nancy Pelosi is from, San Francisco which has some of the highest housing prices in the country. Do you think someone can actually scrape by on $15 an hour? Right. So I always say we have an issue in this country with the standards, you know, that we set the fact that we're even pushing for just $15 when we know that $15 in today's day and age with rising housing costs, with rising healthcare costs, with rising gas costs, rising food costs, everything is getting more expensive. Yet your wage is not increasing. I mean, th- th- even in the bills, $15 by 2027. At that point, what is $15 going to be worth? I mean, at that point, who knows? A freaking Big Mac is probably going to be 10 bucks at that point. So we we need to start understanding and seeing that it's not just Trump. It's not just Kelly Loeffler and Richard Burr insider trading before the coronavirus pandemic crashed the stock market. It's people like Nancy Pelosi, too. It's all of Congress. They all do this. This is how they're able to stack their chips, right? This is how they're able to gain so much wealth while they're in Congress, even though they only make $170,000 a year, which is still a ridiculous amount of money to make considering they don't do anything for normal working people. Working people have been struggling for decades. While at the same time they take money from those same companies, those same industries that are the reason working people are struggling struggling. They're taking money from the healthcare industry, which is the reason they won't that Nancy Pelosi, who has the power to bring something like Medicare for All to a floor vote on her by herself. She has the power to do that by herself. She won't do it. She won't do it. She won't push for it. She won't even mention it. In fact, when they have hearings in the House in 2018, they'll they'll make sure that you can't even say the words Medicare for all in a hearing about Medicare for all. This is these are your Democratic Party politicians. So whenever they're like, look over there, it's the Republicans, it's Kelly Loeffler, it's Donald Trump. No, it's all of them. It's Nancy Pelosi, too, being worth over one hundred million dollars. Investing $10 million into a stock when she has that insider knowledge. She, she, the House is able to appropriate money to, uh, to actually set the budget. It has to go through the House for that budget to be approved. And Nancy Pelosi is the Speaker of the House. This is a corrupt game. 
We live in a corrupt system. We're, we're ruled by, by these plutocrats who make the, who enrich themselves while in office and then go out and tell people, Oh, you, you know, $15 an hour, one is good enough. But even if we're saying it's good enough, we're still not going to pass it. So we need to, we need to wake up. We need to get people on board to understand that this is who we're being ruled by that we can't just put our faith in these politicians that they're actually going to be able to legislate and do things that are going to help people because time and time again, we've seen, and it's been shown borne out in the evidence that they will actually do the exact opposite. And then they'll give you crumbs like they did in the American rescue plan two three three tr trillion dollar, whatever bill. How much of that did you see a one-time check? How much of that did, uh, you know, a, a worker that they call essential who had their job the whole time, but their job still plays below $15 an hour. So they didn't get any unemployment. They didn't get the $2,400 $2, a month under Trump. Now it's $1,200, half of that. They don't get that. They didn't, and they also didn't get a minimum wage increase. So they didn't get, they didn't really get much. They got the, they got the stimulus check. That's all they got. $2.3 trillion printed like that. Billions of dollars going to bail out corporations Billions of dollars going uh, in subsidies under the Democrats to Cobra, to healthcare insurance industry, which is a, just a, a complete waste of taxpayer dollars. So we, we need to we need to wake up. We need to get people aware of this because these people will bring the bring the ship right down as long as they have first class tickets, as long as they can just go on their yacht and sail around the world to wait out a pandemic. As long as they can keep all their tax money in some haven in the Cayman Islands while all the infrastructure here is crumbling, while people can't even afford their rent. That's what they're doing. And, th and the, the people that are legislating to, make sh to ensure that happens are people like Nancy Pelosi, who are also enriching themselves with insider trading knowledge and not going put to put forth any legislation to prevent that from happening in the future. Of course they won't do that. Why? Because they're the ones benefiting from it. And that's the society we live in.